Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video, I want to look a little bit closer at the head section of our web page. Now, this is the web page I made in a previous video just to start us off with an index.html file. I want to go a little bit deeper. I'm going to create a new file up here and File Save As. I'm going to save this into my main working folder, and this will be my second web page file. Doesn't matter though, it does have to have a unique file name. I'm going to call it template.html. In fact, I'm going to call it template1.html just in case we make another one later on down the road. template1.html, all lowercase, no spaces. Now I'm going to start my web page off with a doc type definition. This is going to be at the top of every page you make, and it's the doc type definition for HTML5. So you always want to write that, tells the browser which version of the markup language that we're using. Now, you might be tempted to copy and paste this syntax from a previous page that you made, or to use some of the features built into VS Code, just to press tab and autofill content. I'm going to discourage you from doing that though. Instead, I'd like you to type this over and over again. The more you type it, the more you're going to retain it. Um, I've typed this a lot and I'm typing it again right now because it's going to make it easier for me to remember what to type the next time I make a web page. Now after the doc type definition, we start with our HTML tag, opening HTML tag, and I'm going to put in the language attribute with English US. Within the opening and closing HTML tags, I'm going to create the head section. The head section contains information about our page. It's not directly seen on the web page. Now, before I started with the title, this time though, I'm going to start with a meta tag. The meta tag. Now, the meta tag is a little bit unusual. It's going to be our first tag that doesn't have a separate closing tag. For instance, the opening head tag has a corresponding closing head tag. The opening HTML tag has a corresponding closing HTML tag. After the head section, by the way, the opening body tag has a corresponding closing body tag. Meta tag is different though. The meta tag is just there by itself. Now, because the meta tag is just one little tag by itself, it's going to need some attributes. So for this first one, car set equals UTF-8. Now, we don't have to go too deep into what this is, but for now, you can understand that this is telling the browser how we are encoding our web page written in English characters uh, to translate or transform into zeros and ones. So UTF is one of the several popular transmission formats. UTF-8 uses an 8-bit system, and it's extremely popular for text on web pages. So we're going to do this one all the time. In the head section, the very first element you have is going to be this particular meta tag. It's always going to be there. You're going to write it over and over. You're always going to start your page with a doc type definition. You're always going to have the meta car set, UTF-8, in your head section. Now after that, we're going to do something you've seen before, and that's title. And I'll just call this blank page template number one. There we go. Now. In addition to the meta car set and the title, there's more stuff that we're going to put into the head section. Some of it's going to make sense, some of it's going to be a little bit weird. I just pressed the enter key to give myself some room. And let's see, I'm going to do a couple that are pretty self explanatory. Meta name equals author, content equals, and then put your name in. There we go. So this meta tag has two attributes it has the name attribute which tells the browser what this meta tag is for. In this case, it's for the author of the page. And then content attribute is specifying exactly who that author is. Cool. There's also meta name equals description, content equals, and then short description for this web page. I'll put something a little bit more detailed later on, but for now, the meta description, meta name equals description, and then content equals description text. This doesn't impact too much in the creation of the web page, but it can help later on with um, what's called click-through or uh, help with search engine optimization. 
this description text is usually the description text that displays whenever Google or another search engine displays search engine results. Okay, now let's do another meta tag that I really want you to write, even though it's not going to make much sense to us. Meta name equals viewport content equals, this is a little bit long, width equals device width, comma, initial scale equals 1.0, ending quote, ending angle bracket. I'm not going to talk too much about this one, but I promise you it's something you're going to want to have on all your web pages. It helps make web pages responsive or at least display nicely on mobile devices and phones, things like that. We're going to have some topics coming up in a few weeks where we focus our attention specifically on mobile web page layouts. And um, I'd like you to get in the habit now of including this particular meta tag. There's other things we can put in the head section too. The other thing I'm going to get you in the habit of doing now, yeah, let's do another line space here. Link REL equals style sheet, href equals styles. There we go. I don't have a style file, but we will soon enough. And basically, this is how we can attach an external CSS file or style sheet file to our web page by using this link tag. Technically, I'm going to be starting that off with a leading slash. In another video, I'll talk to you a little bit more about file paths, folder paths, things like that, and that'll make a little bit more sense. But that's pretty good. Now, you'll notice that I do have a few line breaks or hard returns in my um, head section here to create those empty line spaces. That's no problem. Feel free to do that. I'm doing it just to kind of keep a couple things organized. You can also put HTML comments in here, like basic meta tags, meta viewport. for mobile, there we go. And then for this last one, external style sheet. Yeah, there we go. So by using these HTML comments, we can start to label what the key purpose of these parts of our web page are all about. And again, these are all in the head section. It's not going to be very exciting, but if I were to jump over to my web page here, now of course I'm still looking at my index.html. I'm going to type in template1.html, and it's pretty boring. In fact, it's blank, kind of. Um, you'll notice that up in the title, the, I'm sorry, up in the tab, I am seeing my title up there, blank page template number one, but the body of my page is blank. Since there's nothing in between the opening and closing body tags of my web page, there's nothing for the browser to display. So the only work we've done on this particular uh, exercise is put content into the head section of our page. And this is what I want you to do starting from now. Um, your first web page assignment is going to require that you have all of this content in the top part of your web page. You're going to have the doc type definition, you're going to have the opening HTML tag with language attribute, then you're going to have a head section before the body. Your head section is going to contain a meta character encoding tag. It's going to contain a unique title for your page. You're going to have a meta author, a meta description that's just going to contain a short sentence describing the purpose of that page. You're going to put in this meta viewport, which you're not going to appreciate the results for until several weeks from now. And you're also going to put in a link to an external style sheet. Even if you don't have a style sheet, I still want you to write this. Get in the habit of putting it on all your web pages. That's the head section so far. Now there are other things we're going to be adding to the head section throughout the term, but for now, in the first couple of weeks of our class, this is a great minimum place to start. Thanks for hanging out with me.